just driving. Yeah. See, miss. That's what I always wanted to do. We break the power of sickness. We break the power of sickness. We break the power of disease in Jesus' mighty name. There was time when my step granddad had beat my grandma. There was time he took the shotgun and ran me and her in the field. All right, here we are, execution chamber. Most the time I hold her hand, you know, they want me to, and uh, then we go about our business. At times, these whole lakes are covered with lilies and they're in bloom. It's unreal, yeah. It's deteriorated quite a bit over the last 30 years. Hmm. The last police chief we had was selling drugs out of the police station. It's the beating thing I ever saw. That right there, that's a nigger chicken. Is that the official name? It is the official name. Yeah. I call them nigger chickens. I guess you do. <laughs> I guess you do. What can we expect to see in there in the rodeo? There'll be a lot of blood and mud. liquor up there. Yep. It's just like a gun. If you've never seen a gun get up off of a table or a rack and kill somebody, oh. it's always the stupid ass that tips the bottle or picks the gun up. Pick up in here. I'm sorry. What was that? An ex-wife? You had a heart transplant and she's here listening to music? <laughs> she can still hear. Okay. Bless her heart. She had the transplant seven years ago. She's dying every minute. She's gonna outlive us. She'll outlive the killer. But she's the wife of Jerry Lee? One of them. One of eight. He says there's been six. He lies. <laughs> you got eight wives? Mm-hmm. Okay. American rock and roll sensation Jerry Lee Lewis arrived today in Britain for his English tour and caused quite a controversy when it was unexpectedly revealed that he was married to his 13-year-old second cousin, Myra Gales Brown from Memphis. That Lewis married Myra five months before he was divorced from his second wife. And Myra says, age doesn't matter back home. You can marry at 10 if you can find a husband. Arriving by limousine at the airport, Jerry Lee Lewis was greeted by boos and catcalls and shouts of, Go home, you cradle snatcher. He 
This is the first piano that my mother and father bought. But of course now, every one of Jerry's wives have the first piano. <laughs> <laughs> My mother prophesied that he was the greatest thing in the world, said so to my father. Every hair of his own was perfect. I said, well, good. We'll make him even more perfect. I'll keep all of his junk. So I did. That's what I've done. I had a recording contract with Decca Records, and I'm not looking for any more contracts. That was a long time ago. I tore it in half and walked out and came home, had eight children. And did this. Jerry's a big star. He's an icon. He's a little bit too big for his riches, but I love him. He thinks he's great. He tried to host a TV show one time. He talked so much about himself. It was no show. It was just Jerry. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Can you hear me? <laughs> Hang on to what you got now. Take my love and you ride on the breeze. You might love that old Jerry insane. Broke my wheel. What a thrill, goodness the ridge, whip ball the fire. Those hands are a little bit possessed. That son of a gun, he's got it. And I don't mean to brag on him. Because I just, you know, he and I just clash. We're both alike. Except I'm not stuck on myself. But Jerry's really stuck on himself. I cleaned this house. I'm the maid, the curator, the owner, the chauffeur, and God knows what else. And I don't mind it. Jerry doesn't contribute any monies. I'm still waiting for a check. Not really. I've never asked them for any money. If they don't have enough sense to know that we need help, you know, that's their loss. That's my game. You want to see where he was born? Okay. We'll go in there and kick his ass. This is Jerry's bedroom. This is the actual bed where the killer was born. If I can get him back in, this will die. Bless his heart. At 9 o'clock each evening, I turn all the bedding back. Okay. Because we keep the house alive. The fans, they want to come and sleep in Jerry's bed, which I do allow the fans to sleep here. Okay. So you were born in this bed too, then? Oh, no, no, no. I was born in the back of the house. No, this is Jerry's bed. Okay. And I was born God knows where back there. I never marked a spot. It's not important. You gotta have a record contract. Who gives a damn where you're born? Unless you're somebody. <laughs> What's with the guns, sir? Oh, those are his pistols. I don't believe in playing with pistols, Jerry does. Three years ago, he held them all at bay. He was having a birthday party. Jerry had a stainless steel pistol with a very long barrel on it. Okay. And he held it, you know, they said he held them, they wouldn't let them go. He really wouldn't. They're like thrill seekers, these fans. And they would just screamed and played music and had a ball. And Jerry would say, don't move. And he'd shoot up in there and, you know. He kept them for three days. He held them. He says, I want people to talk to. He gets lonely. He'll tell you I'm a damn liar, but it's the truth. Jerry, he's just praying, will you please stop telling the truth? Please stop telling the truth. You don't I like that? I'll never stop. <laughs> yeah. The first wife, Dorothy Jean, comes usually around Thanksgiving. Hmm. Beautiful girl. But she wears a veil. I don't know the problem. Get a facelift or get a grip. I don't know. And she stays here for about eight hours. And I let her stay here. And then she leaves. The third wife, Mara, comes about twice, let me see, about on the average of once every, say, every three years. And so the rest of them don't come because they're dead. How many is dead? I think four, three, three. excuse me. I, I lose count, it's awful. They've drowned in bathtubs. They have, I'm telling you, they've committed suicide. I don't know what all they've done. We found them in bed, I don't know. But, uh, but everybody's gone. Does he have any contact with his uh, old... With a dead one's gone. <laughs> 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 oh, please forgive me. <laughs> no contact. Okay, but what about the living ones? The Holy Mother of Jesus, no. <laughs> no. What, what, living ones? No, he can't stand them. No? But he's still married to them. <laughs> well, he never divorced them, but I think they divorced him. Okay. He kind of forgot to divorce people. Hmm. Jerry divorced no one. And they divorced him. Okay. But you told us that one of the wives were here that had a heart transplant. You were playing the music. Yeah, she's been listening now. It's gone off. Thank you, Lord. The music's gone off. But where is she now? 
Where is she now? Yeah, you were playing the music. Oh, it was hooked up to the telephone for her. She phones. That's why I kept coming in here and, 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 tell, and seeing if she could hear it. No, she isn't here. Oh, no. Well, she, she calls in? She phones in. It's hooked up to the telephone, and she listens in. She calls you? You have to put on some jelly leaves? Yeah, every music. evening. Every evening. I was late this afternoon. It goes on at 6 o'clock. It's supposed to last 45 minutes, so, but maybe she's falling asleep. And I hate to tell this on her, but this is the truth. Okay. I guess her husband will scare her alive. I don't know. I think he's gotten used to it. He's kind of like my husband. I think he just overlooks it. Anybody married to a Lewis would have to overlook a lot of things. <laughs> you have to ask him if we're still married. I don't know. I've asked him for divorce so many times, I don't know. <laughs> I've known him more the last two years than I've ever known him in my life. He worked for my brother for four years. Mm -hmm. He must be a hell of a man. Oh, check that out tonight. <laughs> the killer's sister will check it out. We have a lot going on here. Everybody with shotguns in their cars. I mean, I'm more worried about a shotgun. Well, I'm not worried about a shotgun. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a, that was silly to say that I'm not worried about guns. I don't want to be shot. No. So, and if they think you don't have guns, that's what you must understand in your country. If we, if they find out that this house is not protected by a man and woman that have guns, mm. they'll just come in and shoot it all up. Welcome mm. to Faraday, gentlemen. We saw the drive through here. That's, that's a hell of a, I put it in 38 years ago, Killer. You can drink and drive, God forgive me. You can get anything you want to drink out there and you can hit the road. You'll never bother. Don't weave and bother anybody. Just get your drink and go. There's drunk as skunk. I don't know what the weaving thing is. I do not believe in drinking and driving. <laughs> I don't know why the police let them do that. They smoke in joints this long, which I have no problem with that. They take the cigar and slit it, fill it up, you know, with the marijuana. Where they go? I don't smoke marijuana. No, I'm no angel. There's no halo. I'm just like my brother. I've got a terrible temper. I'm not stuck on myself, though. I'm stuck, but not stuck on myself. <laughs> that was terrible. I do not smoke marijuana, and I, I drink sociably. Oh, I love a beer. And I love good old corn mash whiskey. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me show you Daddy's whiskey. OK, yeah. Where the hell is my whiskey? I've lost my bottle of whiskey. When I was gonna let you smell it to show you it was real mean. Oh, here it is. It's real stuff. Hell yeah, you can have a taste. It's, it's good, Killer. It's wonderful. Isn't it good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's good. That'll burn the hell out of you, won't it, Killer? Yeah. Woo! Take your little taste. Just stick your tongue to it. Oh, God, don't kill yourself. <laughs> It's okay, you're a drinker. I can tell a good man when I see one. Yeah. I think I'm flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my daughter, Mary. Oh, yeah. she's gone home to take off her. She put on her angel <laughs> uniform. <laughs> We've all had a shot of it. Uh, well, where is it? No, don't you know? It'll burn your stomach. Don't. Oh, no, I can't please let her drink. Please, please, please. No, Mary. <laughs> Mary and Jean, you can't do it. Your Uncle Jerry will get you. You love him. Tell him that's your Oh, love I love him. I love him. I love she him. gets him dressed. She puts his makeup on. Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm good at everything that I do. <laughs> okay. She's her Uncle Jerry's favorite. I saw that. You're twisting. <laughs> She's no angel, is she? <laughs> Tell you what, I had a bad time here the other day. A man jumped on me. I'm still green and blue on my arm. I'm gonna tell you what, it was bad. I fought him like a tiger. I got him with a baseball bat. I don't know, I've never seen him before. He was on crack. He was on drugs. He was on drugs really bad. But anyway, I love y'all and a happy anniversary. Oh, Mamie, I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all have been, y'all have gotten really, really, well, gotten to know each other, haven't you? <laughs> my mother and my Uncle Lee Calhoun were engaged. Well, Elmo Lewis comes along and sweeps her off her feet. 
Thank God she married Elmo Lewis, which is my father. Mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> Who gives a damn? But anyway, he, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> whoever Jerry's father did was mine. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, really. Linda Gale. Now I don't know. There might be. I don't know about Linda Gale. She looks a little bit foxy, doesn't she? She's a pretty girl. She's had two facelifts and looks great. sister. She's 52. She'll kill me for that one. She's real thin and real pretty. I'm very proud of her. She plays a hell of a piano. She plays that Van Morrison guy. But anyway, here's a nice candid shot of Jerry. And he can't help it. When you're raised up to think you're the greatest, and you turn out to be, then what the hell are you going to think? If I was told I was beautiful, I'd really believe it. Hmm. <laughs> If I was told that I was the greatest, I would think I was. Sam, and that's the way, and Linda Gale was told the same thing. What and about you? How, how did it make you feel when you grew up? When you oh, were... I just knocked the hell out of them and went on. I yeah. did all the housework, all the yard work, and took care of them, and booked the shows, got them ready for the stage, and kept them sober and kept them going. But I couldn't keep Jerry off of drugs. Since he was 19, he's been on drugs, and I could not do anything with him. Bless his heart. And he's still on? Here's Linda Gale's room. Where did I sleep? Yeah. In a sleeping bag, and I still do. Got a good back. It sounded like they weren't that nice to you, I'm Frankie. Very, they were not very nice to me, but I loved them, and I don't think they meant any harm. They were not very kind to me, but they didn't understand. Well, they didn't understand what they were doing. Really, they didn't. And I'm going to be honest with you. My sister and my brother loved me very much. Hell, I hope so, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they were not very nice, and my parents were not very nice. They didn't fit in very good. But it was meant to be. I am happy, I am content. I have such a full life. Mm -hmm. Who could ask for more? When Jerry comes to the house, he turns around and looks, and he says, what would have happened to all of my things? I said, he says, our things. He said, what would have happened to them? I said, they would have been gone, scattered. Mm -hmm. But now they're as a whole. And I said, I don't have all of your things. He said, I know that. He said, but what would have happened to my things? You know, and I'm always correcting him. I guess I do it. I'm a little bit hard on him. Oh, he doesn't like to see me coming. <laughs> he likes to see me going, though. <laughs> We're still married, right? <laughs> have you had a spot to drink? I have. <laughs> <laughs> He's an Irish. <laughs> She's a woman just like anyone else is. Well, thanks. Why? My relationship <laughs> with my wife. Mm -hmm. Wife now has nothing to do with the greatness of her brother. Has nothing to do with it whatsoever. You don't yeah, think about no, it just a little no, bit? Wait a minute, Justin. You no. said curse the day I was born in Lewis. Oh, I, that's, that was just something in a, in a temporary. In the memory. back of your mind. Yeah. In a heated well, moment. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. but we don't have many heated moments. <laughs> when I married Frankie, I married Frankie. I didn't marry the Lewis family. Now. What are you trying to say? You didn't marry because I was a Lewis? Certainly not. Okay. All right. Are you sure? I'm positive. You have a thing to do with it? No. Nothing at all. No. But you didn't love me when you married me. Well, not at that time. 
<laughs> but then one day... What a talk we're having. One day, I just... It just appeared to me... What appeared to you? Me? That I loved you. Oh, well, thank God. Do you really love me? Yeah. You don't well, like me, though, do you? Hey. But you don't like me, do you? No, that's... No, 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 now. <laughs> You're shifting But the you subject. don't like me. I'm no. held to live with, aren't I? Well, I didn't say that you weren't held to live with. <laughs> no. But... I'm sorry. I know I am. If someone told, come up to me and told me... Would you marry that me then? on a certain day, you had to die for Frankie. Oh, you would do that for me? All I had to do is say, what time? Are you that unhappy? Frankie, you're missing completely what I'm saying. There's always a little bit of a motive. Well... There. People don't just take on people because they like them. You walked into a Lewis Hill home, No, 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 no. I did not... But... Man, you're sitting on a 1954 chair. Because... That's wonderful. That, please, it's an original. I know. But keep talking. I, like, I haven't spent so much time with you in a long time. Mary. The... I must... We must talk sometimes. Look at me. We must talk sometimes. being rude to you, but I find it strange you'd be married to me. Why? Well, half of my God, look at me. I'm a living wreck here, working you... continuously. I never stop talking and playing music Frankie, and doing tours. You're missing the whole point of it. But why would a man want such you a wife? You are a very dear woman. Woman, woman, woman. I never looked at her. Not... Like Lewis, my mother, Lewis, my Lewis, Lewis. What am I to tell people that ask me, why do I do this? What am I to tell them? I don't you know what to say. What you should say, why would it matter to you why I do it? Well, perhaps I don't really know why I do it. Yeah, you know why you do it. You know here why. Well, Jerry was so proud when he came here. Remember back then in the room, he said, what would have happened to all of my things? That's true. He had a few, he had a little tear right. in his eye. I've never seen that. Right. I haven't seen that in 40 years, Mary. I can't no tell you No one can me. ever tell me. Bless his heart. Do you think he loves me? Well, sure he does, Frankie. Has he told you he loves me? Well, certainly he does. Well, your brother and I have had some knockdown drag outs about the family. <laughs> you, you can't just... He's a killer, isn't he? Yeah. He's a terrible temper. Jerry got his name, the killer. Jerry, he used to call it other people. Killer, yeah. And then, when he shot that coke ball and that bullet ricochet and hit that... Uh, the little boy. That was bad. Then, everybody started calling Jerry... The killer. The killer. Jerry shot several people accidentally, I think. No, he did not shoot several people accidentally. I didn't say seven. Several? I said several. There's been a few. Him. Shot one accident. I think it was me. No, 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 no. And then when Daddy it. shot David Ogilvy. Oh, that had nothing to do with it. Well, that. I mean, they, Jerry got the blame for it. No, I don't give a well, damn. Daddy wouldn't go to jail, mm. right? Your daddy pulled a gun on Jerry. Yes, I know. On your brother. I know. And Jerry, told him, he said... Jerry was taunting him. He called and told him uh, he was a no-good son of a bitch and he was fixing to kill him. Well, he would have killed him, but Jerry, somebody hit Daddy's arm. David, my first cousin... Yes, I know. He knocked it down, and yes. when he did, he knocked it down, and Miss Lewis shot See, him Elmo in Lewis the foot. was a bit of a... He just had a bit of a temper. Is that where Jerry and I get that from? Jerry is one of the hardest people I've ever dealt with. Well, no... He's a little bit selfish, isn't he? He's stuck on himself. He can't help that. To a point it that... It was bred into him. We forget... Notoriety has made him. He got a little bit out of hand. What happened? I really... I really don't know. Well, how did we lose him? He just sort of... We lost him. We didn't lose him, Frankie. He lost us. He lost us. Lewis is an entertainer. 
He has become a legend in his own time. That's something that rarely happens to people. Now, he's not like I am. When I finish my job, I come home. I do this, I do that. He can never put it down. No. Never. From the time he awakes in the morning. Same as myself. Till he shuts his eyes at night. I know. He has to entertain seven days of week. 24 hours a day. I know, it's horrible. When push come to shove, you could never depend on Jerry for nothing. I know, day. he didn't mean any harm. He, hey, just Jerry. he would give you the shirt off of his back. If and I'm could, making the same excuses that Mother if, made for him. Here you, I stand. You could walk up to Jerry and say, Jerry, I need this, I need that. At he that said, moment, he cured At that moment, no problem. But when out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. It's a, it's nothing but strictly human nature, Frankie. It's not for me. I do not forget things. Well, may you have as many friends as a He does as not can. forget things either. What he does, he puts them aside. You oh. can make it sound really great, but Jerry Lewis is a mean son of a gun. <laughs> Once you become someone as famous as Jerry Lee Lewis, once you start performing... Oh, it's no end. It's it stop. never stops. It never stops. Well, Mary, hey. It doesn't make any okay, difference. Okay, hold that thought for a second. Look at me. I'm a nobody. Okay, I'm just no, a... So hold on. No, no, I, hold no, no, on. No, 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 no. I'm his sister, but I still can't do anything. No. Even that is a burden. I mean, I don't Wait mind... Wait a minute. No. Frankie, that's entirely wrong. You're not a nobody. Well, I'm a somebody you're, to my... But I'm no... You're known worldwide. Marin, I'm... Just like your brother I'm is. not a Jerry Lee Lewis or No, Linda but Gale. not in the form of the fame that he is in. Uh, but even I can't... Started rock and roll. So what do they go through? <clears throat> you're in the same grouping. You're classified as the same as It'll they never are. never end, will it? Never. When the Lewis's are dead, they'll be bigger than ever. That's right. Your legacy That's lives what I was on. Taught. Can you believe what we're talking about? Rock and roll. It's here to stay. Well, the kids like it. The people like it. The old people like it. Anybody like it. Anybody don't like it, got to be crazy. I like it. Maybe I'm crazy. Tell me something. How much do you enjoy Jerry's music, his shows? What? How much do you enjoy him? There's never been a showman that had walked on the stage. He anybody. is good. That's right. And I hate to, I don't mean to brag, that's my brother. Jerry and I have hunted in the woods together. You've been close. But you'll we've, never hunt again, will we've you? We've done this together. We've done that together. And those times have passed. But. It's gone. The salad yeah. days are gone. Yeah. Remember, he no used to sad. shut everything down December the 1st. Yes, he was. He would come home. And eat. All we did was tromp through the woods and Wasn't enjoy wonderful. ourselves and everything. And Mother then, was so happy. Yeah, and then on January the 1st, he always had some, on New Year's, he, he always had some He had to go. He had to leave. He had to leave us. He had that hunting jacket on and all those. Yeah. He had his rifle. And, and all that, that stupid-looking hat. Yeah, making those funny faces. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't, those were salad days, weren't they? Yeah. this big umbrella of evil and everything over Lewis. But I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis has got a heart as big as that black piano sitting right under. Give you the shirt off his back. I don't think so. You might can ask him to do something for you, and he'll do it. You're not going to tell Lewis that he's going to do anything because he's just like I am. Before I would succumb to that, I would rather be dead in my grave. Mm -hmm. That's just like uh, Frankie in there. Frankie wants me to do something. 
She comes to me and asks me, would you do this? Would you do that? I said, yes, I'll do this, I'll do that. But she don't come to me and demand to me that I do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to... Always get what I want. But you don't get it demanding, honey. No, nope, you're good. That's you don't right. You demand. You're good. You do. She might use a slide. <laughs> you better watch it. <laughs> but not demanding. You better <laughs> watch it. Yes. It sure I'm is. Good. That's like the old Southern saying. You can catch more flies with, with sugar, sugar than you can, huh? than than you can, can vinegar. vinegar. And I'm not stupid. Yeah. Hey. I got you. And that's vinegar. one of the most sugar spreading women I knew. <laughs> Man, that was not very nice. That was just a joke. <laughs> no, I don't think it was a joke. Yes, it was. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to get him when y'all leave. <laughs> if I can catch him. <laughs> yeah, I got to go check on the. Okay. Door. Thank you, Mary. My husband's had a tough act to follow. Because it's hard to follow my brother and my sister with me. I guess maybe I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit of a Lewis. Gary, wonder what he's doing this afternoon. Probably eating a down apple fritter. That's his favorite thing is apple fritters. He loves to talk more than I do, and that's saying a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with your brother. I took care of your papa. I know, Mary. Why did Jerry treat him that way? I don't know. Jerry used to tell me, don't give him nothing. I know. And I'd tell him, you're out of your goddamn mind. Mary, don't use God's name in vain. That's what I told him. I know that, honey. But Elmo Lewis was a good man. He was good. He was kind. And my mother was very charitable. I want you to know. And I'll tell thing. you something else. Let me finish this one. They were not prejudiced. They loved everybody, the blacks, the whites, Hispanics, everybody. He even liked the Irish. <laughs> but really. No, no. <laughs> You've been practicing, Mr. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mary, that's very good. Your mother was a very dear, sincere woman. Who do you think took after Mother the most? Jerry or Linda or myself? None of you. <laughs> you go so Bless her heart. And I still miss her today. We were not close. Now, never, we never got along two seconds. But right. we, we were just bonded. I mean, we just did so many things together. We did a hell of a lot of fighting, but I loved her dearly. But Jerry and Linda took, they took everything that I could have ever had. They took it away from me. Why? And no, they just, did not. They just, I just didn't have the love of my parents like they did. And no, no, true. no. You did, you did not have the notoriety of your parents no, that they no, had. Whatever. The love. Wasn't there. Love and notoriety is entirely different. Yeah, Mary and Linda came first with my mother. And you yeah, know. but that was from the that was from the notoriety no, and No, man, that was when, before they were ever famous. Well. That was just then, the way it was. If that's the case. Yeah, man, that can't be helped. No man is an island, but the Lewises are. No. We have lived nothing but a lonely, hellish life, and you damn well know it. I was spit on on those very sidewalks out there that I walked. And so was my brother, and so was my mother and father, and my little sister. Why was here. that? Because they don't like us. Why was that, Mary? Can you answer that? Mother told us because we were special, trying to spare us. 
What if I go spit on Elvis Presley's sister? Back in the days when the English were at their mighty. My God, I can't take an English lesson. I know, but it's the same thing. Excuse me, I forgot the cameras were rolling. <laughs> you cannot. God save the Queen. <laughs> You had a certain cast of people in the British Empire, and everything below them was trash. Well, That's the same way it was. I don't like that kind of history. But you got to relate everything in its proportion. What the hell has that got to do with people spitting on me? Class and Class. cast. Well, I'm sorry. They thought that y'all were below them. Well, so what? We're not. So what? Even though you weren't. Why would Longshank? Who in the hell is that? He was the king of England. He was the one that Longshank. slaughtered the Scots by the thousands. How do you come up with all this? What the hell have you been reading? Frankie, I went to six universities, darling. No wonder Jerry couldn't understand you, Mary. He don't know anything about all these people. I know he doesn't. You remember what the English lady said to poor old mama when she was painting mother's picture and they got into a fight? Who? You remember Rita? Yeah. <laughs> She's painting Mother's portrait. Yeah. Mother didn't know anything about history. And Mother <laughs> said, Give me a shot if you English ladies, or we may have a lot of murders going over here. Y'all had Jack the Ripper. That's all poor Mama could come up with. Bless her we've heart. Had, we've had people in this country make Jack the Ripper look like a Sunday school but student. Poor Mama. <laughs> He fell on a five-eighths inch reinforcement steel rod. It went in at his rectum and came out. Man, what a right story, side. for God's sake. That's the we... truth. That's horrible. You're they had to go over there and it... cut the rebar off and take him and the whole damn thing. Robin, yes. who was he? Binger. <gasps> Jerry knew him. He was a friend of Jerry. Sure. The denture plate that Roland had in his mouth, mm -hmm. he dropped it and broke it half in two. Mm -hmm. I glued it back together when they first came out with the super glue. Mm -hmm. Roland died with that upper plate in his mouth that I glued together for him. Mm -hmm. But anyway, here's where I signed my recording contract. I've never shown that to another living person. It's what in that little purse. I tore it half in two and put it back in the velvet purse. Why did you do that? Because I said, I'm not drinking whiskey and popping pills. I'm going home to have a family. And I did it. I did it my way. <laughs> what do you think about that today? I think it's good because I feel good, and I wouldn't give you two cents for a deck of recording contract. I still have the voice. I may be old, but I still have, I still have the voice. Hmm. And I know that. When you got it, you got it. get looking back over all the things that has happened, you have to wonder if there's not a... A God? What well, God would have had to put his hand on Lewis's head. Oh, yeah, many times. Many, many times. I don't think Jerry will live much longer. He's going to die playing his piano. No. Don't think Jerry's going to make it much longer, do you, Mary? Frankie, don't ask me that. He says he's ready to go be with his mama. When people have that attitude, they're ready to go. Right, Mary? I have the wholehearted belief that God Almighty is not through with Jerry. With Lewis. I believe that when Jerry's gone, I think I'll go down like a ton of bricks. No, sir. If I let myself. Frankie, drop the complete Lewis perspective. I can't drop it. Sure you can. I'd have to drop my heart. My no, 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 no. Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. There's nothing you're here but the Lewis perspective. What is that? The whole thing is Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Darling, you're forgetting the whole thing. What am I forgetting? Well, you're forgetting the Creator. I'm not forgetting God, but I do yes, not. Yes, as long as the old master has something planned
for Lewis, he will be here. I How many that, times have I told you that? I realize that, but I just don't think he wants to live. He I understand him. that. I don't handle death very well. I cannot go on without my brother. I'm Do sorry. you have any idea? You're not, it's not your brother. But well, wait a minute. He's the only brother I've ever had. I realize it. He's the only one I've ever had. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. I do not believe in overdoing things that I can't make without my brother. Well. What would I do? Who would I talk about tonight when I go to entertain those people tonight? Frankie, you could. What would I do? There are so many memories that you could talk about. Memories mean nothing when he's gone. When he dies, it all dies. I'm not carrying on this facade anymore after he's gone. What about his memory? They'll just have to relish his memory. I can't handle it anymore. When my brother's gone, I'm going to close the doors. Not to the house, but to myself. Frank. That's the way I feel. And God knows my heart. There's no need of me lying. No one. You can lie to everyone, and you can lie, but you can't lie to yourself or God. Yeah. Yeah, stop the cameras for a second. All right. Mary, there's a fight in the store. Could you go see about it? Sure. Mary, go now. Go now. Quickly, Quickly. I got it. Let me get our pistol. Getting the gun? <laughs> it's no big deal. Oh, it is. Looks like a big deal now. Oh, man, one just had two hand surgeries this year, so he can't hit me back. He came around the counter and jumped on us. He, yeah. shoved, he shoved me. Okay, I'm gonna need two. Who else will fight? Paul, he bit Paul. Is somebody in here that's been bit? Oh, the guy come back there. Oh, my God. He can get took a little bite out. You might need him. We went to the last time we got shot. It's very dangerous to be bitten. Could be HIV or anything, you never know. Man, Who is he? I don't know. He come up and he he come right there and when he pushed me, he I busted his ass. Oh, thank you. What, man, you got to come get the steak and everything. You got it, honey. You got it. Who is that? Hey, who is that walking through here? Hey, what are you doing? What you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Don't come up in here. Baby, we out. Don't come back up in here. Don't walk through here. Those women, when they pass by here, you better be very careful. They'll stick it. You know what a shiv is? Like a thin knife. A homemade knife. Yeah. They'll stick it right through. They, black women love to cut the black men. And the white women love to shoot the white men. I don't know which is worse.
But if they come, we'll have to go inside and get all the guns out of the gun cabinet. Load, clean and load. Check all the shells over there. They're just shot. It was a gunshot. They'll kill you. They'll kill you. They're crazy. They shouldn't be allowed guns. I don't have to have a gun if they don't have one. They were shooting out there, you know. It's an entourage of orangutans. Orangutans would have more sense than the black people around here do. Orangutans. I could train an orangutan to work in my store faster than I could a black man from here. Put that on tape. Something, ladies, did you get your cameras full? We did. <laughs> we did. Take care. Hey, one of these days you come back over here and take that camera off, and I'll show you what a good old fashioned Iris ass kicking is. <laughs> okay, okay. Take care. Look, I'm so sorry this happened. <laughs> I don't apologize, but I'm very sorry. That's I, okay. But I do apologize. No, no, no. In a way. <laughs> what am I saying? Well, get him in. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, okay. Bye, bye. bye, -bye. I'm clinging to life. I'm clinging to Linda and Jerry. I'm clinging to the hope that they love me and that they'll live long, long lives because I need them. They don't realize that, but I need them. I need them so very, very much. I laughed at love because I thought it was fun. Jerry coming home once again. Maybe someday he will. Sometimes it's seven or eight years I don't see Linda. It would be just a wonderful thing if they could just even come home. It doesn't have to be a Christmas day. It could be a, a 23rd. It could be a 9th. It could be a 10th. It doesn't matter what day of the month or what day of the year. Just we could meet here perhaps an hour or two, 15 minutes. Hell, even just to have a conference call, you know. Anything would be good. Anything would be better than nothing. I think it would be very bad for something to happen to Jerry, because I'm still waiting for that hug. I'm still waiting for that hug like he gives to Linda. <laughs>